Hello, I'm Brian and you're watching Someplace or Another. And today I'm at the Illinois State Museum in Springfield. Let's go inside and check it out. I hear it's free. What weird times we live in. Well, apparently I was supposed to buy tickets online, even though it's free. Didn't matter, he got my tickets for me online in person. Of course, they took my temperature. I thought for sure I'd flunk because I've been walking in 100 degree temperatures for who knows how long. But I passed, so I'm walking around this old school museum by myself. Well, I got the place to myself. It's kind of weird, kind of creepy. You remember that movie, Night at the Museum? Feels like that, but during the day. Whoa, that's a big centipede. I am so glad I don't live where those animals still are around. You know how creepy that would be? It's a pretty nice place, but it's so deserted. I really am the only one in here. More fossils? Well, they found a lot of fossils. Most of it looks like plant life. A fossilized stump. Huh. That's kind of cool. The Hall of Dinosaurs. Ooh, cool. Wait. Closed due to lack of specimens. Hmm. Anybody else find that funny? Looks like you could use some dental work. And I think we're allowed to touch you. Wait, 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 no, no we're not. It says no hand. Whew, that was close, almost broke the rules. So we're looking at a ground sloth and a macedon. Can you imagine a world where the ground sloth is almost as tall as a macedon? And a giant beaver which actually doesn't look that giant. These are all the things they found in a river. Wow, I can see why magnet fishing has become popular. This here is a horse and man. And this combination was purchased in 1919. It's a replica, so. I will have to admit, the arrows on the ground are handy. Now I know, this is the way to go. Okay, do I go that way, or do I go this way? Uh, let's see. Yep, guess I go this way. The people of the past. The Native Americans. It's a nice looking, nice looking exhibit. Let's see, they... The Kickapoo. I can tell right now what she's saying. What do you have there? Let me see. It's a common phrase from parents all over. This is more my speed. We got the cool looking typewriter. And the phonograph. When you think about it, it's kind of neat they were able to figure that out. I mean, you just wind it up and the sound comes right out that tube. It's genius, actually. Look at this old TV. My iPad's got a bigger screen. Probably very close, at least. <laughs> Looks like I've entered the old dress section. Speaking of places I know nothing about. Yeah, we can walk around. Oh, this is the way to go. What's underneath? Ooh, the vintage lingerie department. Sexy. <laughs> oh. Ooh, corset. A 
hear those things are really uncomfortable. Has anyone out there actually tried one on? Oh, this is interesting. This is what's underneath the dress. It gives it that puffy look. You know, like this one. You can see it underneath the dress. See, it's right there. That's gotta be so uncomfortable. Guess we'll go in this old timey house. This appears to be the section with the antique furnishings. Oh, spinning wheel. That's cool. I really wish they wouldn't put things behind glass. I mean, you guys can't see this very good, and even I can't see it that good in person. That's a neat looking little piano. Who out there can play the piano? Let's see. Who out there can read music? <laughs> Not me. The working home. What do we have here? Banjo. That's cool. Who can play the banjo? There's an organ. This is the only kind of organ I can play. It's self-playing. <laughs> it says the kitchen revolution. I'm thinking 50s? It looks 50s to me. Yeah, a little waffle maker. I bet you they had a lot of those at the small appliance museum. That's my favorite style of blender. Okay, what can I find at the Five and Dime store? Ooh, who out there remembers the Five and Dime store? The Rec Room of the Past. And probably still the present. We can play a movie. Maybe watch a little TV. Let's spin a record, listen to some music. Or maybe even play some darts. Style and comfort. Got a little record player. That's kind of neat. It's a combo unit. That looks really familiar to me. I wonder if I knew somebody with that particular style. Hmm. You remember the great TP shortage of 2020? I'm surprised no one raided the, the exhibit. Uh, the teen room from the past. Ooh, someone needs to clean their room. Now, I'm just taking a guess, but I think this is a girl's bedroom. Because no teen boy will have a Seventeen magazine. Still following the arrows, which I admit are kind of handy. So we're going past the dresses again. Is it me? But they seem like they would be so hot back in the day. I don't think anybody smelled very nice back then. Without air conditioning and long sleeves? Okay, let's do some laundry from the 1800s. Not sure what that is. We could scrub it right here. Whew, that sounds like a lot of work. But afterwards, we gotta hang out our dirty laundry to dry. Well, I guess by now it's clean. And after, after that, then you have to iron it. You gotta heat that iron up on the fire and then try not to burn your outfit. I guess before you can wash it, you gotta make it. Gotta spin your fabric over here. Gotta use something called a hackle. I don't know what the heck a hackle is. And a ripple. I guess she'll show us how that's done. Hmm, that's a lot of effort.
didn't really need my mask in there, but that's the rules. Thanks for joining me on today's adventure. I will see you someplace or another. What do you think? Yeah, it wasn't super exciting, but it was free. <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> see you guys later. Bye. Stay tuned for more adventure to come. Subscribe, like, share, and thanks for watching. Bye.